my strange ones. You might notice something different about me today. Editing! Yay, that's happening again. Long time no see editing. <laughs> Hello. Look at my shit. How awesome is that? Abed in Community wore that in one episode in season three. I'm like, oh, I have that shit. Please marry me, Abed. My ovaries exploded. It's basically what happens to girls when they get really excited about stuff. Bet you didn't know that. If you haven't watched Community, remedy that right now. Like right now, go, ah, uh, uh, you need to watch it. So I've been sick for the last few days and this week I meant to teach you something. So I was gonna teach you like how to make a paper crane or something like that. Cause you know, I need to make a thousand of them anyway for my 15 things for 15. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a link here and in the doobly doo. But I have decided to make a much more important tutorial video. One that I think many girls across the world will be grateful that I have made. How to survive the feminine blues. First off, you need to remember for the next few days, you are the most important person in the whole world. Everyone needs to bend to your every whim and you have every right to be completely angry at them for doing normal things around you. If they don't want to be yelled at, they shouldn't walk into the room. It's as simple as that. Remove yourself from other human company as much as possible. Secondly, you are going to need a lot of chocolate. A lot. My preference is Easter eggs. Because they're tiny, you can trick your brain into thinking that you're eating less and therefore feel less guilty, even though you're eating around roughly 700 of them. Three, find a fluffy cat pronto. Mm, I love you. I love you. I love you. No, no, I love you. And also, do not care if they meow and try to escape, because you are the most important person in the whole stupid world, so they better be cute, and they better be fluffy, or they will be hell to pay. Four, your doona wrapping is absolutely essential. The style I like to use is called the burrito. Stand approximately one-fifth from the end. Fold that fifth over your feet. Wrap wrap. Make sure there is no earthly way that any tiny gust of cold wind can make it into the burrito. Five, set up computer. Insert Grey's Anatomy CD. Lexi, Laugh. Just cry. Lexi, Enjoy. Lexi, just tell Sloane how you feel. I know he loves you back. <laughs> Six, make yourself the ultimate drink. I like to refer to this drink as obesity in a glass. It is a very complicated drink that will most definitely make you feel sick, but it is also most definitely what you want the most right now. The trick to why mine is so delicious is I actually start off with hot chocolate. Here is a tablespoon. Here is hot chocolate powder. You know what to do. Some may say, that's too much hot chocolate powder. I say heathens. Pour a small amount of boiling water into each cup. Add milk to each cup. Get the cat away from my obesity in a cup. We want no feline diseases in here. Now here's the secret to my hot chocolate obesity in a cup. Cinnamon and nutmeg. So it's time to start on the glasses. Place two ice cubes in each cup. I don't have another ice cube. This one will just have to do with one. I have just been alerted to a very very sad fact. We in fact have no ice cream. This is unacceptable. For your recipe, please imagine ice cream up to around there. Now drink. Now you have everything you need. So sit back, watch McDreamy and Meredith in their many struggles for love. Try to remember these are just mood swings. And also if you piss off everyone in your family, no one is going to heat up your hot bag for you because you're encased in a Duna burrito. Bye bye my strange ones. This is my grandma's dog. I feel like Jenna Marbles. Ariel, I will see you tomorrow. And if I don't, you know the drill. You'll be murdered and tortured and such the like. Bye bye.